Today we're going to look at editing your mobile phone shots using Luminar. Ninety percent of the time, if not a hundred percent of the time, you've got your mobile phone with you anyway. So probably the same as every other photographer, you'll actually instead of taking your tripod off, camera bag off, tripod off, setting the camera up, getting the composition, you'll take your mobile phone out and you'll look for the composition with your mobile phone before unpacking your gear. I think everybody does that now and it actually helps and it's a big time saver as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the images that I took on the mobile phone whilst looking for compositions. Some of these I ended up I take, taking the camera bag off, setting the camera up and taking the shot. Others I didn't. Some of these shots I can use in Instagram just for my feed because they suit my editing style and the way my feed runs. Some of them I can't use at all. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to show you how to edit your mobile phone shots using Luminar. Another mobile shot here taken uh, way back down from the old manor store in Sky and I'll show you the process with this as well. Again, Luminar is a plugin. Command J into layer one. Filter Skyrim software, Luminar 3. So that's us. I'm showing you my work process. The first thing I always do is go into the Sky Enhancer. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. For the images they're taken on the mobile phone. And so far, it's just held it nice. These artifacts here are indeed the snow. So I'm not even going to clean them up. It was starting to snow. As you can see, the snow clouds had moved over. So I'm not even going to clean them up for just for the purpose of this. I'm going to boost the image slightly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull back the blues in this image just to give it a wee bit more mood. And that's the saturation back. Pull the blues back. And as you can see, just because it's been taken in the mobile phone, straight edge here, it's a glare from the sun and so on. You can actually see some sunbeams coming in there if you look carefully. I'll crop this out at the end. Uh, pull that back to wherever I am happy, happiest at, around there. Again, I'm going to add feature that will be available in Luminar 4, AI Structure. And we'll bring that in. And that's bringing up the details in the snow. And we will boost it a tad. That's me, I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to soften the sky, so I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. That's just a preferred way of working. Add the filter. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I am going to denoise it. Then I am going to add an Orton effect. This is just for the sky. And then finally, I am going to add a vignette to the entire image for this layer. So I'll denoise the sky. There we go. That will do for that. And these these images, when they go into Instagram, they're sitting around 2,000 pixel mark, so it's okay for a nice snapshot with this. The open effect, I'm going to dial in to where I'm happiest. And it will be around there. I'm actually quite happy. I was going to keep the open effect just on the sky, but I'm actually going to leave it as a global edit to the entire image, I quite like that there. I am then going to dial in a slight vignette. Not too much. I want a bit of drama in this image, just like the rest of the images. I want a bit of drama in this image. So if I go for a bit there, I'm quite happy with that. The next thing I'm going to add I'm going to get back right back to the start and I'm going to add the develop module and that will jump, jump up here because that's me just getting to the end of my edit for this and that there for me is a bit more dramatic. I, I'm also going to add to about there with a tint. Uh, highlights and shadows, I'll get this out of the way. The shadows I'm going to deepen 
just again, just for the drama in this image, whites will push a tiny bit and the highlights will push a tiny bit. Which means now I'll go back in because of this area here, I'll now go back in and I'll edit my vignette. Here's the vignette here and we'll pull it back slightly to about there. Right, I'm quite happy with that, so I'll click apply. Remember this area here, the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to crop that out. So we take that to about there and then we've lost it. Now I can deal with this within camera raw filter. So there we had the before, after, before, after. You can see how much drama has just been caused using the luminar to enhance everything. Last but not least, I will go in and camera raw filter. Again, I'm going to pull the exposure down. I'm going to increase the highlights. Not much. This is just tweaks to the image now. I'm going to increase the texture. It's brought out some more detail here. So we're using both of the programs. We're using Photoshop and Luminar 3 to complement each other to get the final effect that you're after for your images. I may even add a slight more touch here. Back into my radio filters, that's a big favourite of mine. Actually, I might add another vignette first. Just to draw your eye in even further and then we'll enhance the lighter areas with the radio filter. Just put one there and I've left the mask on. Again, I'm going to turn the overlay off so that I can see a more natural effect. The boundaries of the overlay put me off when I'm editing. So if I do that, or take it right down, you can see where it is. Go in there. I may add one just in there, but it may be too bright. Now I have to use the overlay just to move it to around there. I don't want it to bleed onto this, so I'll put the mask on. Take the brush and just brush away the areas I don't want it to affect. So say about that and go back to edit mode, turn mask off, turn overlay off and then just tweak it. That, just everything, subtlety is the key with your images. Touch in there touch in there, which I'm going to rotate, turn that back off, just enhance that a tiny bit more, I'm going to put one in there but I'm going to draw it back again, and this is, this is really really quick editing, uh, but it's just to get images that you perhaps you've taken on your mobile phone that you want to prep for Instagram. Now that I'm happy with that, just click OK. So there's the original image that we brought in, a JPEG from the Samsung S9 Plus, and after Luminar and a few tweaks in Photoshop, there's our final image. Again, OK for Instagram. Perhaps a really small print, but that's it. Hopefully you managed to pick up something from that and as you can see most of the time I'm slightly desaturated. I think it just helps with the, the Scottish weather and the imagery in Scotland. When we went to Slovenia the images were more vibrant and that just added to the mood of Slovenia and all the other places we, that we've visited in our travels. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more and you're not currently a subscriber please consider subscribing. Big thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and as I always say, thumbs down if you haven't and thanks again for watching. See you in the next video.